Today's video is all about how to make your first sale on eBay quickly and increase your chances of making more sales in the future. If you're just starting out on your dropshipping journey, you want to pay close attention as I share my proven strategies for making sure your first item is a hit with buyers. What's up everyone, my name is Paul and I've made hundreds of videos here on YouTube about how to make money online and documenting the success I've had with different businesses like eBay dropshipping. So before we get started, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe for more content like this. Starting out on eBay can be a frustrating experience, especially when you list your first items up for sale and nobody buys them. I feel you because it happened to me too when I first got started and I found myself wondering what the heck I was doing wrong. But then something interesting happened. I listed a product and within one hour it sold and then it sold again and again. And I was left wondering why this one product was selling when all the other ones I listed before never even sold once. After looking at all my listings, I realized that I had listed this one product differently than all the other ones I had listed before. So over the past six years since then, I've refined this process to make sure that most of the items I have listed actually sell quickly. And as you're gonna see, these strategies are really not that difficult. Now, selling items fast is of course a good thing. In fact, what I found is that if an item sells once, it's much more likely to sell multiple times. This is because when eBay ranks their items in the search results, it's more likely that your item will show up higher if it is already sold. What's more, when customers actually find your item, they'll see how many other people have purchased it, which is what we call social proof. And good social proof results in more sales. That's why I'm going to show you these three techniques that I use to sell my items faster. And all three of these techniques, they work together. So make sure you stick around for all of them so that the entire process actually works. And trust me, these strategies will change the game for your eBay business. So the first technique you need to master is what we call product research. Product research, it's crucial when it comes to eBay dropshipping because it allows you to find the products that people actually want and are actually buying right now, and then you can list those same products into your own store. Without doing this, you're just guessing which products will sell, and that can lead to a lot of wasted time and money. So to start out, the first thing you need to figure out is what supplier it is that you want to work with. So in this example, I wanna use Walmart as the supplier that I'm going to drop ship from Walmart here on eBay. What you now need to realize is that every supplier, they have brands that only they sell. Walmart, for instance, has its own brand called Mainstays. So if I come over here to eBay and search for Mainstays, there's a really good chance, actually pretty much a 100% chance, that all these products that are being sold are being drop shipped from Walmart onto eBay because only Walmart can sell this brand. However, not all of these sellers are doing it successfully. And that is where product research comes in. So to help me with product research, I use a software called Zeek, and this helps me find the most popular products. So for instance, if I come over here to the product research tool and type in the word mainstays, I can scroll down past this section at the top and actually see some products that right now are being drop shipped from Walmart onto eBay. And we can see how well they're doing. So for instance, these clothes hangers have sold 150 times, uh, 144 times in the past 30 days. This, this meat thermometer has sold 107 times in the past 30 days, over 400 times in total. So just tons of really popular products here. Like this one sold 100 times. It's these picture frames. A lot of picture frames have done really well here. A lot of clothes hangers, a lot of shelve, shelving units right here. Like this one has sold 39 times in the past month, over 200 times in total. So there is a ton right here of really good products that are already being successfully drop shipped Walmart onto eBay. But we don't just kind of stop here because what 
is really cool is that this is basically identifying for us people that are drop shipping Walmart to eBay. So for instance, like this seller right here, they're drop shipping Walmart to eBay. So what I can now do is actually scan that seller's store by clicking this button that says scan seller. And so what Zeke is going to do is going to look at all the products that this seller is selling, not just main stage products, but all of the products that this seller is selling because this seller is probably selling other brands from Walmart onto eBay and not just mainstays products. And coming down here, I can see that over the past month, this seller has done over $11,000 in sales and we can see exactly what products it is selling, this seller is selling right now. Like this cat litter box that has sold over a hundred times just in the past month or these disposable cartridges that have sold 70 times or this glass storage that has sold 41 times. So this is basically a database of popular items that you can drop ship yourself. So the question really is, why would you waste your time going to Walmart and picking random items and listing them for sale when you don't even know if people on eBay want those items? Instead, you could come over here to Zeke and get this sort of database that's full of items that people have already been buying on eBay recently. And then you can go ahead and sell those exact same items yourself. So for instance, this product right here is this full length mirror that Zeke has found. And not only has it found this item and seen that this is being successfully drop shipped, but over here on the right is this logo, this Walmart logo with a check mark. And if I click on this, Zeke actually goes beyond, does some extra work for us and actually found this item on Walmart for us right here. I can click on this and it'll bring me right over to the Walmart website. So that saves you a ton of time so you don't have to do that yourself. Now in the case where it's not able to find the product like this one right here, all you have to do is open up this item. This will pull it up on eBay. We can scroll down to the description and actually search for that description on Google. And you can see right at the top of the search results on Google is this bookshelf. I can open this up. That will bring it up on Walmart. And that is the exact same product that is being drop shipped Walmart onto eBay. So that's product research for you in a nutshell. There's a bit more that goes into it. And there are some ways and techniques to really optimize the product research process to find the best products with the highest profitability. But that's the general outline of it. And once you figure it out, you can easily repeat it. In fact, we can go back and find, go back to these results right here and actually find some other sellers as well. Back to these results and start scanning some other sellers as well. And the crazy thing is, is that th everything I showed you before, that's all from one seller. So this can now unlock for you all of these other sellers and all the other items that they're selling as well. It's like unlocking additional databases full of popular items that you can sell, which means the possibilities and variety of items here is really endless. So after doing some product research, I found these chairs right here that I want to sell. So now we actually have to list these items up for sale inside my eBay store. Now, luckily, because of some software that I'm going to show you, this is actually really easy to do with the exception of two steps. The rest of it though is pretty straightforward. So let me show you how this works. So all I'm going to do is come over to the product that I'm looking to sell, which are these chairs right here. And all I need to grab is a URL. So I'm gonna copy the URL from the top here. Now I'm gonna come over to a tool that I use called AutoDS. This is something that I use to help me automate my drop shipping store on eBay. And I'm going to click on the left where it says add products, single product. I will paste in that URL and then click edit now quick. That will allow me to make some changes to it before it actually gets published to my eBay store. Now, the reason we kind of send it to this drafts is specifically because of the title. I want to change the title before the item gets listed into my eBay store. The title that is given to us by our suppliers, by Walmart, is not the title you want to use on eBay. This title, the current existing title, it's the same one everyone else is using and it's not optimized specifically for eBay. So what you need to do is something called 
title optimization. And this is the second thing you need to master for eBay dropshipping. Title optimization is the process of crafting a title for your listings that will help them rank higher in the search results and attract more buyers. A good title should be not only informative, but also include keywords that people are searching for when they're looking for products like yours to actually purchase. When someone searches for a product on eBay, eBay actually scans through the titles of all the listings to find the most relevant results. The more relevant your title is to what people are searching for, the more likely your listing will show up at the top of the search results. This means that more people will see your product and you'll have a better chance of actually making a sale and making a sale quickly. The title, it's also the first thing that people see when they come across your listing. So it needs to be something catchy and compelling so that they actually wanna click on your listing and learn more about the product. This is why title optimization is so, so important and why it allows you to reach more buyers and increase your chances of actually making a sale. And again, make it quickly. So let me show you how to actually do it. So using again, this example of the steel folding chairs, the title that's given to us by Walmart, again, is quite frankly, not that great. It's kind of sparse and it's not full of those keywords that people are going to be searching for. But we'll use it as a start, as kind of like a base to start with. So what I've done is I've come over to Zeke Analytics and they actually have a title builder tool built in. So all I've done is search in here for metal folding chairs. And what this will do for you is it will actually give you information as to how often people are searching for different keywords. So for instance here, people have searched for the words seat and metal 2,500 times, metal back 2,500 times, metal back folding 2,500 times, back folding chair 2,500 times, folding chair heavy, different things like this. So you wanna go through this and find the keywords that are actually relevant for your product. So looking at this product, these are these black folding metal chairs, right? There's a four pack of them. They're metal seats, they're not cushion seats. So this is all kind of information you just want in the back of your head. Then coming over here to Zeke, we can see that, yeah, seat and metal, metal back, metal back folding. All right, so this gives me an idea of kind of where to start here. So I can eliminate the word mainstays. Mainstays isn't a really popular brand. If it was, I would leave it in there because people might actually be searching for mainstay, mainstays chair specifically. But for, the, for this brand, I don't think they are. So I'm gonna cut that one out. And it says steel folding chair, four pack black. I'm going to move four pack to kind of like the end here. I'm going to include black, steel folding chair, black. We'll do metal seat and back because those were words that we saw, seat and metal and metal back. Uh, what else do we have here? We have dining room chairs. Yeah, I think that these could be used in the dining room, like when you have guests over and you need extra chairs. So I'm going to include those as well. Uh, black dining room, we have four pack. And this tells you right here how many characters you have left. So 65 of 80 characters. So we could still probably fit a couple more words in here. Um, let's see what else. This over here will tell you some more generic ones. So the word folding, seat, black, portable. Hey, portable is something we could definitely throw in there. So let's throw in here dining room portable. 74 of 80. Maybe we could fit in one more word that's six characters or less. So let's see if there's anything like that. Uh, maybe the word frame, we'll just throw that in there as well. So metal frame, and that's exactly 80 characters. So I'm just gonna spend another minute here kind of re reorganizing, rearranging these words so they make a little bit more sense. Generally, I want the first few words of the title to fully describe what it is and even if everything else was eliminated. So steel folding chair. Yeah, that pretty much describes what it is, right? This is a steel folding chair. But we have the word set here, so I'm going to move that 
back here. I'm gonna get rid of the parentheses. I always like to eliminate any sort of punctuation or parentheses or things like that because they just take up excess room. Steel folding chair, metal, metal back. Even words like end, we don't need that either. Metal back seat, metal, uh, metal back seat frame, black dining room portable four pack set. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Again, it's really just the first few words that need to make the most sense. And the rest of it is basically, we're just kind of throwing in those keywords, trying to make them make as much sense as possible. But if it doesn't, that's okay because the beginning fully describes the product. Now let's talk about the third thing you need to master, which is the pricing of your items. In the beginning, most people who drop ship, they just wanna make as much profit as possible. And I get that. But again, the most important thing right now is just to make your first sale. It almost doesn't matter if you make some profit or just break even. The most important thing is just to get a sale because that will get the ball rolling. The more sales you make, the more it will prove to eBay that you are a seller that they can trust, and then they're gonna send you more traffic. And that's when people really start to make some serious money with drop shipping. So to increase your chances of selling your items quickly, you wanna sell them for the lowest amount that you can. That's going to maximize your chances of actually selling the item quickly. And once it does, you can then raise your prices, and then it sells, and you can raise them again. So the first thing that I recommend is that you find out what your break even point is for the item that you're selling. In other words, how much you have to sell it for to not lose any money, but not make any money either. So you can use a website like salescalc.com to figure that out. Or if you're using AutoDS like I showed you, you put in the right information in the settings and it's actually going to calculate this for you automatically. You're gonna plug in things like the cost of the item and how much you're paying in sales tax, if anything, and your fees. And then it's going to calculate it all for you and tell you what your break even is. In the beginning, I recommend that you sell your items at that break even price. And again, once it sells, you can then raise the price of your item and then raise it again when it sells again. Now, without a doubt, the most difficult part of this entire process is the product research. So if you want a much more in-depth guide into how to do that, check out this video right here and I'll see you there in just a second.